week 12, problem 6. White light is spread out into its spectral components by a diffraction grating. If the grating has 2,000 grooves per centimeter, at what angle does red light of wavelength 640 nanometers appear in first order? Assume the light is instantly normal to the gratings. All right. So, the idea here is the reason this is going to act exactly like two slit. So I'm basically going to draw a two slit. And what the gratings per centimeter tells us is this distance right here, D. So we have 2,000 uh, grooves for one centimeter. Hmm. So if we do one centimeter divided by 2,000, that gives us, what is it, 5 times 10 to fourth? Five times ten to the negative fourth it is equals five times ten. That just gives us the distance between um, the slits. So the idea here is different colors are then going to. So they're all going to have pretty much the same central maximum, but they're going to have different first orders, different peaks. So. That might be like blue, that might be like red, yellow, etc., etc., etc. If I was better, I'd do it in colors and I'd show you. But I'm going to ask Google to do the hard work for me. Just diffraction, grading. Ooh, that's actually, ooh, that's probably exactly what I wanted. So when it diffracts out, you get all these different colors. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Images. Hmm. Some of these are probably better than others. I'm going to go with this one. So this will be like the first order, and it has different... So this will be the first order of the various um, uh, maximums. I think there's a good image of this. There probably is somewhere. But that's the idea, is that there will be different uh, first order maximums based on the color, which is to say there will be different first order maximums based on the wavelength. So, we want to find the angle that we have red light. So, I'm going to do y equals m lambda d over distance of separation. So, for here, the angle will be, so this will be d, which is pretty much the same as over there. And this here will be y, will be Yep. Since it's a, um, let's draw the maximum right there. There we go. The distance to the maximum will be y since it's a two slit. By two slit, I mean 2,000 slit um, interference. So we have, so then we'll have y divided by d, which is sine of theta which is approximately theta, which equals m lambda over d. Yep. So we aren't actually given these values, but these values are going to be theta. Do they ask it for it in degrees, or do they ask it for it in radians? They probably ask it for degrees just to be sneaky. They do. They ask it for degrees to be sneaky. All right, so they want first order, so m is going to be 1. They say red, so this is going to be 640 times 10 to the negative ninth. And they say 2,000 um, gratings per centimeter, so it's 5 times 10 to the negative fourth distance between each grating. So doing some canceling, 10 to the negative fifth, 640 times 10 to the negative fifth, 640 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by, was it 5? 5. 640 times the negative fifth, 5. Correct. And we get, bum bum bum, 1.28 times 10 to the negative third. 1.28 times 10 to the negative third. Now where did I find? Oh, that's radians. Okay. So now I'm going to click on this guy. And now to convert this from radians to degrees, I need to make it bigger. 
So I'll multiply by 180 and divide by pi. You can also do 360 and 2 pi, but same idea. So here I got 7.3 times 10, uh, I'll do 0 0.073. 0 0.073. 0 0.073 degrees. Hmm. Make sure I'm not. Ah, 2,000 grooves per centimeter. So, this is what I did wrong here. Then. So this is per centimeter. So this is the distance for um, a centimeter. So then we'll have 100 centimeters for one meter. So this will be five times 10 to the negative six meters. Okay, so here then we'll have do another x negative 2, 10 to the negative third. This will actually be 10 to the negative 1. And this will actually become not 0 0.073, but 7.3. Because centimeters, not meters. Yeah, that's all there is to this one. So it seems easy, but you really kind of have to have a reasonable feeling for how these formula, for how the formula works. All right. Seven point, mm, nope, it looks like a box. Seven point three. All right, that's it for number six. On to number seven.